The jungles and forests of the worlds are fascinating places, densely packed. They are often rich with animal life and an abundance of beautiful greenery. And there is none more fascinating than the infamous Amazon. But how much do we really know about the Amazon? What's truly hiding among the leaves and trees? These are terrifying things found in the Amazon. The Holidaria with a dark, mysterious atmosphere, crawling with animals that most of us could never even dream of. It isn't surprising that the Amazon jungle is home to several spine-chilling cryptids. If you trawl through the annals of history, you'll find countless stories of people who think they've encountered or seen monsters of some kind in the depths of the Amazon. One such legendary creature said to slink its way through the Amazon is the cryptid known as the Holidaria, aka the Sawtooth Dolphin. This peculiar creature was spotted by renowned biologist Jeremy Wade back in 1993 when he was innocently trying to snap a photo of the infamous Pink River Dolphin. Wade actually succeeded in photographing the creature not just once, but twice. His first photo of the Holidaria was taken in 1993, his second in 1994. Wade offered a further description on what he saw himself of the sawtooth dolphin. According to him, the Holidaria is similar in appearance to the Pink River Dolphin. However, it has notches on its dorsal fin that look like the teeth of a saw. Wade spoke to locals, but none reported ever seeing such a creature. A lot of skeptics, including many of Wade's fellow biologists, disregarded his find, saying that it was nothing but a Pink River Dolphin with a damaged dorsal fin. But to this day, Wade refuses that hypothesis and insists that these photographs showcase an all-new monster of some kind. What do you think? Was Wade onto something, or is he absolutely out of his mind? Now it's time for the rare topic. On many an occasion, people have stumbled upon the carcass of a sadly deceased animal in the depths of the Amazon. The wild can be a tough place, but this particular animal body has got a lot of people talking. Take a look at this thing. Nobody can wrap their head around what it is. It was found back in 2016 and has been baffling everyone. While nobody knows what it is, the general consensus is that it is some kind of water mammal, most possibly a subspecies of whale. Biologists later dissected the creature and determined that it does share a lot of DNA with whales. So here's the question. How did a small whale end up in the middle of the Amazon? As always, comment down below with the hashtag rare topic, and we might pin the comment that best explains what is being shown in this image. With that said, let's keep things moving. The Boiling River One of the scariest things in the Amazon is not a creature or monster of any kind. It's a natural phenomenon. The Boiling River of the Amazon is one of the world's strangest mysteries. Also known as the Shinai Tempishka, or La Bomba, the Boiling River is the only naturally boiling hot river in the world. It is known for the very high temperature of its waters, from 45 degrees Celsius to nearly 100 degrees Celsius. The name means boiled by the heat of the sun, though the source of the heat is actually geothermal. The Boiling River of the Amazon was once thought to be a myth. Some said that a serpent called Yucca Mama, or Mother of the Waters, created the scalding waters. Few scientists or explorers have been permitted to visit the Boiling River, as it is protected by the Mayantiyaku Shaman, who consider it to be a healing site. Quite why splashing yourself with boiling hot water is considered healing, we don't know. Because I've spilled hot coffee over myself a lot, because I'm a clumsy idiot, and it's never healed me. But what do I know? However, those who have gotten close report that the water's temperature can range from 120 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The mud along the river is so hot that if it were to touch your skin, you would receive a painful third degree burn. If the nearby mud can burn you that bad, just imagine what the water itself can do. Locals have even reported that small animals are sometimes seen boiling in the water, their eyes cooked to a milky white. Here's the crazy thing. The boiling river of the Amazon is something of a mystery. No one can explain why the waters of the river have reached these boiling temperatures. They just have. Weird, right? The closest volcanic activity is over 400 miles away. That is nowhere near close enough to be having an effect. There are many theories about the river, but none have proven to be correct, leaving the boiling river shrouded in mystery. But what do you think boils the poor fish who live within it alive? Is it a natural phenomenon, or is something more magical at play? Let us know what you think. Anaconda Okay, we've covered curious natural phenomena. Now let's go back to animals and creatures, because it is well known that the Amazon is home to all or most of the scary animals that exist. There are some incredibly strange things hidden in the darkness of the waters and canopies of this remarkable forest. Take, for example, the zombie ant, something we very nearly included on this list. According to scientists, a specific type of fungus is responsible for creating what they call zombie ants. Various species of ant can encounter the spores of the fungus on the jungle floor or be coated with them as the spores float through the air. The spores then make their way inside the ant's body where they begin to grow. Within a week or so, the spores completely take over the ant's body, virtually controlling its actions and leading it to bite onto leaves in particular locations of the jungle. 
This is similar to how a zombie in popular culture would be led to feed on humans by the virus controlling it. The ant then dies in a spot that is ideal for the fungus to reproduce, allowing it to create even more zombie insects. Horrifying, right? That's the sort of horrors you can find in the Amazon, and zombie ants aren't even horrifying enough to make our list. Oh no, that honor goes to this huge anaconda. So, what's the story? Well, as well as terrifying animals, there are also beautiful sights to behold in the Amazon, in every direction, and there are even remarkable people who have made this majestic landscape their home. And one of these people had a truly terrifying encounter that we just have to tell you about. The man, living with his tribe in the Amazon, had a rather scary incident with a colossal anaconda. After many other members of his tribe had mentioned hearing a terrifying slithering sound in the middle of the night, every night for nights on end, he decided to set a trap. Minutes after setting the trap by a body of water using a chicken as bait, the anaconda slithers by and falls for the trap. He slithers around the murky water and then slides his head right into a blue box. He thrashes his huge body about, but he cannot wriggle free of the trap the guy has set for him. This dude must really know how to make a sturdy snake trap because this anaconda is huge. we never seen anything like it. If I saw a snake that huge, I'd drop to my knees and beg it for forgiveness. I can't help but wonder what punishment the snake would inflict on his captor should he ever manage to escape and seek vengeance for his kidnap. It does not bear thinking about. Giant Spider Almost every folklore and mythology the world over includes some kind of reference to abnormally large spiders. Around the world, people have told legends of giant spiders measuring up to 5 feet across. But the largest monster spiders have been sighted mainly deep in the Amazon jungle, a legendary location for lurking creatures, such as poisonous dart frogs and anaconda snakes. Among the monster spider sightings across the world, sizes and descriptions vary. But on the extreme end of the spectrum, eyewitnesses have described specimens up to 5 feet long. They are said to have huge fangs and hairy bodies the size of small dogs. The largest monster spiders are said to have fangs as long as 8 or 9 inches. One of the more infamous is, and apologies if I pronounced this wrong, the Jabafofi, also known as the Congolese giant spiders. They are a type of spider-like cryptid, which is said to inhabit the forests of the Congo, possibly representing a new species of arachnid. Most of the many anecdotal tales describe the spiders digging a shallow tunnel under tree roots and camouflaging it with a large screen of leaves. They then create an almost invisible web between their burrow and a nearby tree stringing the whole area with a network of trip lines. Some hapless creature, soon to end up on the menu, will trip the line alerting the spider. The victim will then be chased into the web. This type of predatory behavior is similar to that of several species of trapdoor spider. This tourist footage, taken by some people on a tour of the Congo back in 2016, possibly showcases a very real spider cryptid, or Jabafofi. What do you think? We know that some spiders can get pretty big, especially in parts of the world such as the Congo, but the size of this one really takes the biscuit. In fact, he could take your life. It looks to be roughly the same size as a full-grown turtle. That is, to be a little bit body shaming about it, not normal. The way we see it, this isn't a big spider. The Amazon Rings Deep in the Amazon jungle, spanning Bolivia and Brazil, researchers have discovered a series of earthen rings. What is truly bizarre about these rings is that researchers have determined that the rings actually predate the Amazon rainforest itself. Archaeologists have been working to determine what the purpose of these rings might have been. What has left researchers baffled is how these rings contrast our perceptions of ancient peoples. There is nothing more terrifying than an answer without a question. What were these rings? What purpose did they serve? While historians disagree about a lot of things, including what these rings are and where they come from, all historians seem to agree on one thing, that ancient people live in harmony with nature in a way very different to us. As such, it seems highly unlikely that they would alter or damage land. Yet here the Amazon rings are, seemingly and curiously, proving that hypothesis wrong. Or does it? The debate about whether people of the past would ever purposefully damage the land like this is at the crux of trying to figure out what these rings are. If we have been wrong all this time, then they did create the Amazon rings. And the question is, why? Was it for ritualistic purposes? Is it something to do with astronomy, astrology, or cosmology? Or maybe historians were right, and the ancient people who lived here never would have dared damage the land. If that's the case, it's reasonable to think there may be a far more mysterious and unexplainable history behind these rings. The internet is rife with possible theories, and most of them center around, you guessed it, aliens. Are these the oldest crop circles ever found? I mean, they've not been carved into crops, but you get my point. If that's the case, maybe these rings were intended as a message from our extraterrestrial neighbors. Let's just hope, if that's the case, these rings translate to a nice message like, we like you guys, and not, we're going to kill you guys. Number 10. The Walking Palm 
This one gives you fantasy movie vibes. You would probably jump out of your skin if you found yourself strolling about with a tree for company. Well, not exactly, because you would be faster, but these palms do move from one place to the next. This is how it happens. New roots grow and reach for the sunlight as they replace the old roots. This is how they cause the trees to move. Therefore, the movement is quite slow. It must take them quite a while to walk up to a neighboring tree for a nice visit. The trees are called Cachapona, or simply the walking palms. Unless you absolutely must see them move and that's the main reason for your visit, don't hang around to witness this amazing phenomenon. Cachapona provides the tribes that live in the rainforest with food from its spiny roots. It also gives them materials for making their weapons as well as building. Its trunk is straight and narrow, and perfect for construction and making spears. Furthermore, the yellow fruits of the tree are not only edible, but they are also to treat hepatitis, and also as an aphrodisiac. Number 9. The Goliath Spider if you don't have a particularly friendly disposition towards the arachnids, this is the one bizarre creature you might not want to see. This giant bird eater, or Goliath bird eater as it is known, is the biggest spider in the world. You are looking at a gigantic tarantula that is so big it could eat birds, and sometimes does. It is 13 meters in length and dwarfs every other spider. It weighs up to six ounces, and its legs have a span of almost a foot. It's safe to assume only Spider-Man would attempt to get close to this one. However, as frightening as it looks, it poses no danger to humans. If this makes you curious enough to try to pet it, you will find its hair rather prickly. Also, it gives you an itch that can last for days. Number 8. Rafflesia, the Stinky Bloom this flower is humongous, and it looks like it could happily feast on you. Amazingly, this is a plant that does not have roots, leaves, or stems. Additionally, it reeks. Walking within smelling distance makes you wonder whether you parked meat and it went bad. Maybe it does eat flesh after all. Its deep coloring of red and cream petals call out to, uh, well, the only living things that can stand its awful smell, flies. This awe-inspiring plant is unfortunately an endangered species, as it is said to be going the way of the dodo. Its own makeup is working against it, and although it's found in other locations such as Thailand, Borneo, and the Philippines, it holds out very little hope for survival. Number 7. The Sculpting Spider Spiders in the Amazon are not your regular house spiders, which creep some people out. These ones put those ones to shame. This little spider has the ability to create a much larger spider in order to scare its enemies away. The new spider may not remind you of Donatello or any of the famous artists, but when you look at who built it, you have to respect that little guy. This ingenuity makes one think that there is more to animals than people see. As to whether the decoy works on predators, well, it must for the little guy to go to so much trouble. The larger spider is built from dead insects and debris. It builds its spider complete with multiple legs and hangs it up to confuse predators. Scientists should hardly be surprised considering spiders are the best art architects of all time. What, with elaborate webs they spin so skillfully and fast that are able to ensnare much bigger insects? It's no wonder that a few of the species would figure out the self-portrait. Number 6. Tiny Lethal Beauties The Amazon, as said earlier, gives you a heady mixture of beauty and danger. This is exemplified by the poison dart frogs that are not only deadly, but also quite beautiful. The little golden frog is quite small in size, but poison from just one of these lovely looking creatures is enough to kill 10 men. Indigenous people from Colombia are known to use the frog's poison when hunting. They dip the tips of their blowgun darts in it to make them lethal. The origin of the poison is as yet unknown. Experts assume it must come from what they eat. These beautiful horrors can be found in a variety of colors, such as green, yellow, red, copper, blue, and black. The coloring depends on the habitat. Their bright coats help to ward off predators, although one cannot help wondering who would dare eat them. They have what is known as aposematic coloration. Poison dart frogs belong to the Dendrobatidae family and can be found in the tropical forests of Costa Rica as well as Brazil. Number 5. 
the corpse flower. Yet another Amazonian giant comes in the form of a flower. This one may make you think you landed on another planet because it looks more like an alien monument than a plant. The scientific name is Amorphophallus titanium, but it is morbidly referred to as the corpse flower. This is because when the flower is in bloom, it produces a rather nasty odor, much like rotten meat or a rotting corpse. The pungent smell is meant to attract pollinators for the continuation of this smelly species. Naturally, the only pollinators that would venture close to pollinate this one would be flesh flies, dung beetles, and pollinators of that ilk. They feast on dead flesh and would find the smell and color of the corpse flower quite appetizing. The poor insects are, however, duped. They fly over expecting food, but find none. Disappointed, they take off with pollen on their legs and thus aid in the continuation of the stinky plant. It's fortunate that this flower only blooms a few times in its 40 years of life. It certainly wouldn't do to have such an odorous plant blooming, say, two times biannually. Number four, the bullet ant. Ants are not usually insects that anyone wants to mess around with. The tiny terrors can really cause an embarrassment. The bullet ant is even more sinister than its smaller troublemakers. It is the world's largest ant, and you don't want to meet this one any more than you want to play with its wee variations. The bullet ant is such named because, should you be unfortunate enough to experience its bite, you'll feel like you've been shot. Experts say that it actually feels like a gunshot. In addition, the ant itself looks like a bullet. The one reason that you need to stay as far away as you can from this ant is that excruciating pain lasts for 24 hours and remains uniformly agonizing all through. Once it bites, the bullet ant releases venom known as paneratoxin. Apart from the agony, the venom may give you the shivers and temporary paralysis. In addition, you may feel nauseated, feverish, you may vomit, or even go into cardiac arrhythmia. These are, however, not fatal, just very uncomfortable for the duration they last. Number three, the plastic eating fungus. While this may qualify to be termed as bizarre, it is actually a pretty helpful fungus. It could be just the thing we need to rid the world of these pesky plastics. The scientific name for this awesome fungus is Pestilotiopsis microspora. One of the most important qualities about this fungus is that it does not require oxygen to thrive. This makes it perfect for eliminating plastics in places such as the seas and places that just don't have oxygen. All things remaining constant, scientists hope that this fungus can help our planet resolve the issue of plastics, finally. Number 2. Indigenous People of the Amazon Interestingly, there's also human life in the Amazon. These humans are not the usual visitors to new places who find a new habitat they love and decide to stay. These are indigenous tribes, many of whom have no knowledge of any other world outside of the Amazon. It's believed that an incredible 21 million people live in the Amazon. They coexist with the flora and fauna that makes up the Amazon. These people have their own way of life and also get their sustenance from the forest. Their clothing is as different from yours as the day is from the night. The traditions followed by these tribes may seem bizarre to most people. From piercings that are large enough to fit a small tree branch to cuttings and rituals surrounding birth and marriage, you'll be hard pressed to understand it all. Furthermore, many of them do not take kindly to impromptu visitors from the outside. You risk having a poisoned arrow reception if you decide to pay them a visit without gaining their permission. These tribes have lived in the Amazon without bringing any harm to the ecosystem for centuries. The Amazon feeds, clothes, and gives them water, as well as medicine and protection. Number 1. The Leaf Mimic Katie Did In the Amazon, you'll find see-through frogs and spiders that build decoys. Being able to fool your enemies is a useful skill in this vast rainforest. It can be that thin line between being dinner and finding your own dinner. The Leaf Mimic Katie Did is an amazing little insect that could teach our soldiers a thing or two about camouflage. It'll sit on a leaf or branch and just become part of it. That is how it got its first name. The moniker Katie did came about in a most interesting manner. When these clever insects rub their legs together, the sound that they produce sounds like Katie did. It might make you wonder who Katie is and what she did. In addition, how fast they Katie did can help in measuring the temperature on the Fahrenheit scale. What do you find most intriguing about the Amazon? Would you take a trip deep into the Amazon rainforest to experience these and more discoveries firsthand? 